As you can see, there's dozens of aircraft here on the line in various states of production, ready to get ready to fly out of this facility here in Fort Worth. But as for when they'll do that, right now in 2018, Lockheed Martin is set to produce 91 aircraft from this line. But next year, in 2019, they'll do an increase of about 50%, up to 130 jets. That's all on the line to getting them to full rate production, which they say they're ready for. We're ready to go. We've been ready for a long time, as a matter of fact. I've been on the program about 15 years now, and we started, uh, you know, it's difficult. The startups are always difficult, but now the, I wouldn't say we know how to build the airplane. Uh, the magic now is in trying to do it more efficiently, you know, use of technology, improve the quality, get all these new mechanics trained on all of their processes. Don Kennard is the brains behind the F-35 production line, which stretches through a massive building outside Fort Worth, Texas. Aircraft components enter one side of it, and eventually emerge as fifth-generation fighters. It goes to final assembly, where final assembly is putting on the uh, empennage, horizontal vertical tails, as well as the flight control surfaces. Uh, and we also do all the testing on the vehicle system, all the hydraulics, all the electrical. Uh, once all that's done, we roll it out the north end of the building. It goes over to the uh, aircraft final finish facility for coatings. It goes to the ATF, the aircraft test facility for RCS testing, then to the fuel facility for fuel checks, and then to the run stations where we, on a good day, do com two company flights and two government flights and then deliver. Well, it might appear that much of the F-35 is built by hand. In actuality, certain parts of the production line are automated, which can build up efficiency. The technology, I think, is something that we can't separate. We have done uh, putting more automation in, more automated hole drilling, more scanning technologies instead of doing individual measurements on the airplane to try to scan the airplanes to collect the data for quality. So there's all kinds of technology that's been put on automation. Another efficiency initiative Lockheed Martin is doing is called performance management teams where the company brings together different employees to help speed up work. Well, our metrics are always safety. We want you to come in, be safe while you're here. So any safety activity you see, we want you to identify that. Quality, we want to put out a quality product. So we're looking at what we do in defects and how we can mistake-proof that. Costs, how do we help reduce the cost? It's all of us working together to do that and delivery, making sure we deliver on time. One of the most unique parts of the F-35 program is that Lockheed Martin only builds a portion of the aircraft sourcing many components from different suppliers around the globe. That supply chain has caused issues in the past, including most recently when a fuel tube issue in the aircraft's engine, supplied by Pratt & Whitney, caused a temporary grounding of aircraft in October. That grounding came after the aircraft's first crash, which happened in September near Marine Corps Air Station Beaufort in South Carolina. We inspect detail parts, assemblies, and that's one of the cool things with the new technology is we're trying to compare the as-built configuration with the as-designed configuration through the use of the scanning technology, non-contact metrology, to verify that what we're building is what, in fact, engineering intent is. In addition, he says that while the program may technically be in low-rate production, it certainly doesn't feel like it. Well, we're actually kind of at medium right now. You know, over the past few years, we've been, for several years, we were about 30 aircraft a year, 36 aircraft a year. Last year, we did 66 aircraft, this year, 91. So we're right on the, that steep part of the ramp from, uh, from uh, low-rate production to high-rate production. Once aircraft are finished on the production line, they head to other buildings on the sprawling campus for coding and tests. In fact, as of just a few weeks ago, the 91st aircraft for 2018, which finishes the 10th lot of jets, rolled off the line. And once they're done with those processes, the aircraft heads out to the company's flight test facility, where each aircraft is flown four times before delivery. With the amount of flights some of those test pilots do, they develop favorites pretty quickly. So the C model takes off like an escalator. When it comes into land, it's almost like a Zeppelin. It barely moves. When it turns, it's like carving a snowboard in powder snow at, in Vail, Colorado. It is the wing and the airplane that I think this whole airframe was really meant to be. So while there continue to be issues cropping up with the F-35, and probably will for the foreseeable future, at least when it comes to building the jet, Lockheed Martin appears to be on track.